Yosemite National Park in California is one of the most beautiful places on earth. One of my favorite ways to experience Yosemite is by camping overnight in Yosemite Valley. Upper Pines Campground is the largest campground in Yosemite Valley, located close to the Happy Isles nature center of the valley. In this video, I'm going to talk about the layout of the campground, give you some information about booking your reservation, also talk about the facilities at this campground, and then show footage of my bicycle ride through each loop of the campground recorded in summer of 2022. Upper Pines Campground is one of the most difficult campgrounds to get a reservation into. If you are not booking it the second it becomes available for the summer months, you are not gonna get a spot unless somebody cancels last minute. If you are planning a trip to Yosemite National Park, you need to be planning one year to six months in advance because you can start to reserve your Upper Pines Campground reservation five months in advance on the 15th of each month at 7 a.m. Pacific time, those sites will become available. And as an example, on January 15th, May 15th to June 14th will become available to reserve. You can book your Upper Pines campground reservation directly on recreation.gov. I have a link for that in the description under this video. I recommend planning out exactly what site you want to stay in before you book that reservation so that when that second comes to make your reservation, you already have that opened up and all you need to click is reserve. You still might not get it. I have tried many times and failed because it is just so popular. And Try not to get your hopes up too high because there is a chance you're not going to get that reservation even if you click it the second it becomes available. A little bit more information about Upper Pines Campground. You are welcome to stay at the campground in a tent, a pop-up tent camper, an RV, a travel trailer, a motor coach. Those are all options. They do have a 24 foot max length for your vehicle. And that is not for the actual length of the pads. Some of the pads where you can stay are longer than 24 feet. However, there are trees everywhere and it's hard to get around the loops to get to your campsite if you have a vehicle longer than 24 feet. So they really want to try to keep people from getting stuck. So they're keeping that max at 24 feet for some sites. Other sites have even smaller pads where you can only have a tent in those sites or a smaller trailer. So make sure you look at the length of the site and the max allowable length before you book that reservation to make sure your vehicle will fit. There are no electric water or sewage hookups at the sites. However, there is a dump station with potable water to fill up your water tanks if you have an RV. And you can also use that dump station to get rid of your black and gray tanks. The dump station is located close to the entrance to Upper Pines Campground. There are restrooms at Upper Pines Campground. The restrooms have flush toilets and sinks. There are no shower facilities at this campground. You can purchase a shower from the Curry Village area, or you could just jump in the Merced River and just kind of take a quick little rinse off in the river if you're open to that. Pets are allowed to stay with you at the campground. They just need to be on a leash. Each campsite comes with a food storage bin like this one to help keep bears out of your tent and keep bears from getting into all your belongings. Make sure you use those if you have food with you. Black bear are very active in this area and very smart. All right, let's dive into the layout of Upper Pines Campground in Yosemite Valley. As I mentioned, this is the largest campground with over 200 sites. Some are for trailers, some are only for tents. So make sure you are aware of the type of site you're booking before you make that reservation. We're gonna start with site number one and go up and down each loop with my bike riding footage here. I don't have a perfect view of every single site. I just did a bike ride through the loops. Hopefully this is enough to help you see if you have an RV or trailer, if you're able to back it into that site 
Sometimes the photos on the recreation.gov site don't give enough information. So I wanted to record this not only for me, but for all of you guys to help give a little bit more of the view and general layout of the campsites.
All right, guys, that wraps up my video for the layout and booking information for Upper Pines Campground in Yosemite National Park. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found this helpful for making your reservation. I wish you luck in getting your reservation as it is quite a challenge. What we did in 2022 after I missed out and did not successfully book a campsite in the valley is I booked a reservation at the nearby National Forest, the Sierra National Forest. So we had that reservation set and while we were staying in the forest outside of the National Park, we were checking the recreation.gov website and some cancellations occurred the day before we wanted to come into the valley. So we were able to get a campsite last minute as people were canceling the reservations the day before. So it is possible to still get one if you miss that first window. Everybody jumps on them the second they become available, but people's plans change and sometimes cancellations can happen. So you might get lucky. This is one of my favorite places to stay in the valley. It's so close to the Half Dome Corridor, so if you're planning on hiking Half Dome or the Vernal Falls, John Moyer Trail area, it's a great spot to stay, to be close to that hiking area. The shuttle system runs right by the campground, so if you wanna see the other part of the valley, you can hop on a shuttle and take a ride over. You can rent bicycles from Curry Village. It's just a great place to stay, to be able to access everything in the park. While you're here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our fun travel adventures and helpful information like this video. I have more information videos about Yosemite National Park coming up soon. When those are available, they'll be linked in the description under this video. Thanks again for watching guys. Have a great day and happy travels.